spider goat hybrids to real life super soldiers. Here are 13 animals with extreme genetic modifications. 13. Super Size Salmon If you've ever wanted to taste test some genetically modified salmon, you may need to travel no farther than your local supermarket, depending upon where you live. The Aquavantage Salmon is mostly an Atlantic salmon, but it does include genes from a Chinook salmon and an Ocean Pout salmon, which kind of looks like an eel. The combination of genes allows this fish to produce growth hormone year-round, so it grows much more rapidly than it would otherwise about twice as large as a normal Atlantic salmon. The company behind this credit says that all the fish are sterile, so there's no danger of them breeding with native populations. It has been deemed safe by the Food and Drug Administration, and the fish are said to be nutritionally equal to non-modified salmon. Have you ever tried some of this genetically modified fish? If so, let us know. 12. Musical Mice the Evolved Mouse Project is based at the University of Osaka in Japan. It's a research project that genetically modifies the rodents, then basically lets them breed to see what mutations might develop. Well, they got a humdinger of a mutation when they discovered one litter contained a mouse that could actually sing like a bird. After focusing on that particular rodent subject, the research team has more than 100 singing mice now. The aim is to use the mice as a means to better understand the evolution of human languages. Our songbirds are used for such purposes, but mice could be superior subjects since they have brine structures and biological aspects closer to those of humans. Big Cluckers The idea of genetically modifying animals is not really new since the 1950s, for example. Chickens have been selectively bred to produce meat quickly and in abundance. Now these chickens, known as broilers, are now nearly twice the size of a chicken from the 1960s, with an 80% increase in breast meat. Now in the past it took such a bird around 15 weeks to be fully grown, and at a smaller size. Today the birds can reach this size within 6 weeks. Now in the case of layers, or chickens bred for the eggs, they can produce up to 300 eggs per year now, depending upon the species, but their ancestors in the wild produced around 24 eggs in that same span of time. Did you know that chickens comprise the largest population of bird or domesticated fowl worldwide? 10. Utterly Amazing Some researchers in China made news when they successfully transferred human genes to several hundred dairy cows. Now, as a result, the bovines were said to produce milk that contained an abundance of the same properties as human breast milk. Scientists used cloning methods to introduce the human DNA into Holstein cows, and the genetically modified embryos were then implanted into surrogate cows. The transgenic bovine milk was shown to contain proteins and nutrients found in human milk that helped to protect infants from bacterial infections. The scientists felt that this human-like milk could serve to provide an alternative to human breast milk and to formula milk as well. Now there's still a lot of testing to be conducted, but you might find this type of product at your local grocery store someday. Who knows? 9. Glowfish Did you know that these fluorescent fish were the first genetically modified animals to be made available as pets? The origin can be traced to 1999, when scientists in Singapore were experimenting with a green fluorescent protein extracted from a jellyfish. Now that gene, which causes a green fluorescent effect, as you might guess, was inserted into a zebrafish embryo where it was absorbed into its genome. The jellyfish protein made the fish seem to glow brightly, although glow may not be the precise term. This fish actually absorbs light and then re-emits it. The original idea behind all of this was to create a fish that could effectively detect pollution by glowing. The fluorescent light would become stronger in the presence of environmental toxins. 8. Enviro Pig Well, here's a case where eating like a pig might actually be a good thing for the environment. But keep in mind, we are talking about the cloven-hooved porcus here. 
Canada's genetically modified line of Yorkshire pigs has been engineered to more efficiently digest plant phosphorus. Now that's important because manure from regular pigs can result in an excess of phosphorus in the soil. Heavy rains can cause it to seep into rivers and streams, potentially making water unsafe for consumption. An excess of phosphorus also reduces oxygen to a point where it starts killing off fish and other marine life. Because the Enviro pig manure contains nearly 70% less phosphorus, there's less chance of water sources being polluted. 7. Canine Clowns The Soccer Republic in Siberia is thought to be the coldest inhabited region in the world, so it would make sense that any law enforcement dog dispatched there would have to be a hardy breed indeed. Now, in fact, Russia is using dogs in that region that are genetically enhanced to sniff out explosives and drugs. Three Belgian Malinois dogs were used to clone these animals because that breed is similar to the German Shepherd and is valued for its keen sense of smell. Experts say the clones are more physically powerful than those conceived naturally. These service animals are among some 500 puppies cloned in Seoul, South Korea and experts say they are valued at around $100,000 each. 6. The Amazing Arachnid Ungulate Now it's known as the spider goat, which almost makes you wonder if the four-legged critter was not bitten by a radioactive spider, but it's really the result of some gene manipulation. In fact, the animal is almost 100% goat, except for its milk. The goat was infused with some arachnid DNA, and one of the effects has been that the goat's milk is dried, purified, and actually spun into silk that is very spider-like. Of course, spider silk is known for being light and very strong in relation to its size, and it's shown to have applications for everything from bulletproof vests to fiber optic cables. But it takes a lot of spiders a lot of time to spin enough silk for larger scale operations. However, one of these goats, developed at the University of Wyoming, can produce silk equivalent to the output of 100 spiders every day. 5. Glow-in-the-dark dog DNA from jellyfish and other related sea creatures have been implanted into so many critters that the Cnidarians and the Friends ought to receive some sort of royalty, don't you think? Cats, pigs, mice, and fish, as we noted earlier with the glowfish, they are among the animals that have taken on the ability to glow, as it were, in the dark thanks to being infused with jellyfish genes. But the poster critter for this select group is most likely a beagle named Ruppy, which is a contraction of Ruby Puppy. Did you know that this was the world's first known transgenic dog? When exposed to ultraviolet light, she glows red, hence that name. Now, Ruppy and four of her mates were implanted with a red fluorescent protein from sea anemones when they were still embryos. 4. Self-Destructing Skeeters There's a good reason why these insects are known as sudden death mosquitoes. Scientists created them as a way to combat the spread of dengue fever, which mosquitoes can carry and spread. So these subjects have been modified to die and to die quickly which could help to mitigate the disease from spreading. Male specimens were infused with lethal genes that are released in the females when they mate. Now, those genes are irradiated, which causes them to be sterile. Now, as a result, the material released by the male mutants will not only kill the females, but also any eggs she might be carrying, although that is not 100% guaranteed. But even if offspring are produced, the lethal genes will eradicate them as well. 3. The Ear Mouse When the image of a mouse with what appeared to be a human ear growing out of its back fist appeared in 1995, it put the spotlight on genetic engineering, and for all the wrong reasons. When pictures of the animal went viral, it sparked a lot of protests over the perceived evils of genetic engineering and modification. Now, in fact, the picture of the hapless mouse was used as a symbol for proof that science had run amok. But there were a few misunderstandings here. For one, the formation was not an ear, human or otherwise. It was actually an ear-shaped mold made from cow cells that comprised a cartilage structure. Once it was implanted under the rodent skin, the cartilage was able to grow by itself. 
The mouse was part of an experiment to prove that cartilaginous structures could be transplanted into the human body. Now that mouse incidentally was in no danger from the experiment and did not lose its fur as a result of it. That rodent belonged to a species of nude mice and their lack of hair is due to a genetic mutation that is naturally occurring. 2. Iron Patriots And so with this list of genetically modified and or enhanced animals, let's not leave out some of our favorite primates, like humans. DARPA, D-A-R-P-A, is an acronym that stands for Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. The part of the U.S. Department of Defense and develop emerging technologies for the military. And that includes developing the basis for a technology called the Internet. Maybe you heard of that one. Now they are focusing on the development of super soldiers for the military. This involves the implementation of high-tech implants in addition to genetic modification of the subject. In particular, DARPA is developing a program called Neural Engineering System Design. And that essentially involves an interface implanted in the soldier's brain that enables neural networking. Other DARPA projects include the XOS2 exoskeleton, which would make a soldier nearly 20 times stronger than normal. Now, if all this sounds like something from out of Halo or Marvel comics, don't laugh. Remember, the internet was once considered science fiction as well. Piggy Organ Bank. And the Parkers are gonna take the number one spot here. You may have heard reports that scientists successfully created embryos that were said to be half human and half pig. Supposedly, though, the creature contains only minute quantities of human tissue. A group of pig embryos was implanted with human stem cells, and those were later implanted inside a sow. Pig embryo tissue did develop from those human stem cells, which were extracted at 28 weeks, and that was said to be enough time before the cells had a chance to turn into a potential piglet humanoid creature or whatnot. Experts say these advancements will eventually lead to replacement organs composed of 100% human cells being grown inside pigs that will offer minimal chance of the recipient's immune system rejecting them. Now while that is a noble goal, there are plenty of ethical questions raised by this research. For instance, what might happen if too much human DNA resulted in a pig developing a human brain or a human face? Do you think we should really be developing pigs for use as potential organ donors? Tell us what you think in the comments.